Hi guys, this is Mike at NetbookLive.net and we're here today with the Sony VAIO YB which is in fact the first VAIO to actually come with AMD hardware inside. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at this device and uh, then uh, we're going to, to see a couple of things about performances. Um, okay, first of all this is the device, this one comes in the silver finish. As you can see the cover is, color, is the lid is covered in uh, plastic finish made finish but uh, it's not that uh, uh, that much of a high quality uh, cover and uh, it will scratch quite easily as you can see this device already scratched around uh, this lid has a couple of scratches so it won't perform that well in time uh, the device is fairly thin fairly light looks quite okay uh, let's take a quick look on the ports first on the side uh, you have here the power plug uh, this is the VGA on the HDMI port. This is a cooling vent and here is an USB. On the front you actually have a SD card reader and a Sony Pro Duo card reader as well. This is a switch for wireless and here are a couple of indicator LEDs. And on this other side you have a headset microphone to USB, Kensington lock, LAN and this is the power button. On the bottom uh, as you can see, this is the battery, which is in fact quite small. It's a 4 cell uh, 35 watts hour battery, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, for more info, please go on the site. I'm going to see there uh, the, all the details about this battery. And as you can see, here is a bay where you can access RAM and, har and uh, hard drive. Right here is a hardware, hard drive, and right here are two RAM slots. Uh, this device comes with a um, AMD E350 processor, which is a dual-core dual processor clocked at 1.6 GHz uh, and also uh, has uh, 2 GB of memory. Uh, it supports up to 4 GB and it can easily be upgraded since uh, there's only one 2 GB module inside. Uh, besides that, there's a standard uh, uh, 2.5 inch uh, 5400 RPM hard drive, 320 gigs. And uh, you also have uh, wireless, uh, Bluetooth, camera and pretty much all the, the things you would need on a small computer. Let's open the lid. Okay, you can see it right here. Um, you'll notice uh, that uh, there's this nice chiclet keyboard, which is however kind of cramped. Uh, keys are quite small, so not that easy to use, which is a shame because uh, Bio had all this space around these edges where they could have uh, so they could have uh, mounted a, a wider uh, keyboard uh, but at least you have uh, uh, proper shift keys shift key in this uh, in this part although the one here is quite cramped and so are the arrow keys as well um, and on the bottom as you can see the trackpad is quite quite uh, small you hardly have any any space to to move around uh, and use it and the click bat buttons are kind of noisy you have separated the buttons for right click and left click but they are kind of kind of noisy um, the screen as you can see it's a 11.6 uh, 11 uh, 11 inch uh, display 1366 by 768 and uh, it's glossy and uh, it doesn't really come with the best viewing angles you're going to get on such a uh, device you're probably going to see it in there. It's a fairly okay display, but it's not uh, what we were used to get on, on, on the VIOS. And on top of the screen, there's the motion eye uh, camera. Okay. Uh, in terms of construction, this part is as well made of plastic and feels quite solid, but it's not that good as we, we saw on, on other uh, VIO de uh, devices. And uh, the thing is that this, uh, this VIO, the, the YB series, uh, is uh, more, uh, more a balanced price, it's more affordable, goes for around 550 in the US. And uh, that's probably why Sony had to, to cut the quality of, their, of the materials used for the casing. And this is uh, something you, uh, it's uh, actually quite a, a pity. But I, I guess you couldn't have quite high quality materials and uh, an affordable price as well. Okay, uh, like I said, uh, hardware on this device is 
the, is an AMD 350 processor with uh, 1.6 uh, gigahertz, uh, up to 1.6 gigahertz dual core, mm -hmm. and it managed to to score a Windows 3.7 experience rating, uh, and you can see the lowest uh, is scored for the lowest uh, mark is scored by the. CPU in here actually. Uh, in terms of graphics, there's uh, an uh, AMD uh, uh, graphic uh, integrated graphics as well, and uh, this one comes with an APU as you probably know, which integrates a C processor and uh, graphics onto a single chip. Uh, in terms of performances, I'm going to show you right now that this one can actually. Um, can actually run HD content fairly well. I have right here um, 1080p content. This is a 1080p trailer. Okay, and you're going to see that it actually runs quite nice. Okay, speaker quality ain't that good. It's decent, but not really that good. But uh, the uh, click actually runs very, very nice on this device. And uh, as you can see, you can't really uh, lean the, the screen back. You only, it only goes like this to actually around one to 130 degrees. So it's uh, it could be difficult to use well on, on a couch or, or in bed. Uh, I'm also going to, okay, so this uh, um, 1080p clip, um, let's see how much of the pressure is actually available behind it. Okay, so right now this one is running. And you can see there are still a fair amount of resources left uh, on this computer. Now let's go and try a 1080p flash clip on YouTube. And uh, you're going to see that it's, it's able to run this, that uh, as well. YouTube. There's that. Uh, Samsung Ocean Life. Hmm. I think this is it. No, it's not this one. Anyway, we're going to run a, a random 1080p clip. Let's get it to 1080p. Okay. And as you can see, it managed to to play this film quite okay, and seeking is quite fast as well. We're right now on wireless uh, connectivity, and it works quite okay. So, pretty nice uh, in terms of video capabilities. Uh, okay, let's also try a game on this one, um, and I'm going to, to connect it, connect the power plug on it and a mouse. This is the power plug connected right here. And a mouse. And we're actually going to try Modern Warfare. Which is something we have installed right here. And you're going to see that you can actually play Modern Warfare on this, uh, on this machine. And which means it's actually faster than the uh, Asus 1215N we, we've tried before. I'm going to play the same, this one, the PIT, which is a training mission. And actually this one is faster than the 1215N, like I said. And it's pretty much uh, the same price. Um, and uh, you're going to find on the site more benchmarks uh, on, on graphics and, and CPU. So you're going to make uh, an idea on the performances of this device. I, I ran uh, 3D Mark Vantage, PC Mark Vantage, and a couple of others. So you, you're going to find those on the site on netbooklive.net.
Uh, there's going to be a link uh, towards the bottom of, uh, of this clip. Okay, let's wait for a little bit for it to load. Should load pretty quickly. And then we're going to, to actually take a look at, uh, at this uh, game. Here we go. As you can see, everything moves quite smoothly. Not really that good. No. Oh. Okay, so I missed the target. That means I'm actually very, very. Bad. Don't know why. Okay. Bad it is. Here we're going to to see that everything is here. Everything works. Try to play and be fine. Okay. So as you can see, you can actually play Modern Warfare on this and should be able to play any of the other uh, older games like, uh, I don't know, FIFA and uh, Need for Speed uh, and of course World of Warcraft, Counter-Strike, stuff like this. So this one can actually offer you decent uh, life uh, on the run. Now there are some others, other configuration with uh, AMD Fusion uh, on the market. The problem with this one is, uh, at least for me, this uh, cramped uh, trackpad uh, here, the keyboard, which is not really that good, and uh, as, uh, of, of course the battery. You will always only get around four to maybe up to five hours uh, of life on uh, on a single charge because uh, the battery is quite slow, like I said. And like with all VIOS, it's going to take a while for it to load. So you get small battery life and it takes uh, quite a lot to for the battery to, to load. Uh, okay, but uh, all in all, this is a VIO, so it's uh, a premium uh, premium laptop. Uh, and uh, it's quite affordable, like I said, goes from 550, uh, 550 uh, on, uh, on the, in the US. So I think it's overall a pretty decent device, but uh, it's probably not the best, uh, the best one uh, with, uh, with this hardware on the market right now. Still, if you want specifically a VIO, this could be a good, a good pick. Okay, for more details, uh, please go on the site on netbooklive.net, you're going to have there the written review uh, with uh, more details about uh, uh, pretty much everything and um, test results and benchmarks. Uh, I'm also going to probably try a couple of more games and going to post them in, a, in another clip. Okay, thank you. That was Mike at netbooklive.net, uh, right here with the, uh, with the Sony VAIO YB. Uh, thanks for watching.